Hi everyone, welcome back to the Queen of the Ratchet podcast. I am Joshua Gilliard, the creator, founder, and queen of Queen of the Ratchet. And I am here today, baby. I'm queer and just sitting down to talk to you guys about whatever comes to my mind today. Um, I... uh had a great session today with my life coach. I have a life coach and a therapist because to me, mental health is mental wealth and you got to take care of that, Um, especially during this pandemic. Um, I've just seen the change, the transformation in myself um, through everything, like the way I approach things, what I'm trying to achieve. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I still need to work on, but I feel great. Um, With that being said, I know a lot of you guys are like, well, when is the petty election? When is the next Queen of the Ratchet podcast? When is this? When is that? And I think patience needs to be your virtue especially when it becomes comes to the Disney villains in that segment. What you guys have to understand is the Disney villains, especially the ones that you like, that's one voice. So not only am I writing it, improv it, putting it together, a lot of y'all are asking for 30 minutes, and I'm like, 30 minutes? Um, I don't think it's necessarily the talking. It's putting it together, which takes a lot of time. So I break it up into segments so you don't have to necessarily wait for the next episode. Because if I did a 30 minute episode, you probably would only get the Disney villains once a week because there's other stuff on my plate that I'm trying to accomplish besides the Disney villains. Um, and that storyline, you know, there's the parodies and then there's the the sketches that I do. And then also all the accounts that I run. So, yes, do I want to start doing 30 minute episodes? Of course I do. I possibly will only be making those available for like members and you might have to pay like a little fee or something. But eventually, yes, those things are coming. Another question I get asked is, well, why don't you do other cartoons, especially on YouTube? You guys ask this question a lot. Um, I do a lot of cartoons and different things on Instagram and Facebook. YouTube, I don't feel like dealing with the copyright infringement and all that. But I think that I'm going to start putting more like cartoons on my OnlyFans page. Um, Queen of the Ratchet does have an OnlyFans page. You know, with OnlyFans, you have to be 18 and up to subscribe. I know I have a lot of younger fans. So I will continue to do, like, YouTube videos and stuff like that. Um, But, yeah, I'm I'm really not just trying to focus on cartoons. That's why I'm doing things like this. Um, I'm doing videos where I'm talking to the camera. You'll start to see just different things just to mix it up. Because just doing the Disney villains can be boring for me as an artist as much as y'all like the storyline now i will say this because the petty election is coming up you will start to see more disney villain in the storyline getting back to what it is um but i think that and i know i have a lot of younger fans that don't understand patience because you're in a different generation y'all are in that gen z group where y'all just want things right now and right then but I'm just not that type of social media person. I kind of take my times on things. I have to think about the storyline. It's not just me sitting here saying, cussing and having a cartoon up. So I have to think about it a little bit more. And they take time. (laughs) They don't just come like out of the hat. They take a lot of time. Uh, A a two minute, three minute thing that I put out takes longer than two to three minutes to put out um i think y'all should also realize that with any person that you follow on social media you might see a two to three minute video of what they put out but those videos they take time but i really do appreciate you guys following i know some people are like well i just want i just watch the disney stuff i don't like the other stuff you just can you just 
put out that. And I'm like, yeah, but other people want to see different things. And you might actually like the different things if you follow on different platforms. You might learn to love listening to the podcast if you listen to the podcast. The podcast, the Disney Villains podcast, I did not think it was going to take off the way it took off. And mind you, I'm so happy it did. Um, So I'm going to continue to develop that. It's easier for me to do shorter, like six minute, seven minute clips with that where we check into the world because it's just one voice. I am going to start getting in Zynga and Chelsea involved with doing more of the voices and everything. But those, they take a lot of time. Everything does. Um, I'm not complaining. I'm very happy. Um, if I can make this, which I'm, that's my goal, is making this just my full time thing my full-time gig i would love a series on netflix amazon um hbo and i know it's coming i just have to keep shooting which leads me to like my final message to all you guys is just remember that the ball is always in your hand and that's something i have to tell myself i have to keep choosing myself and telling myself that joshua the ball is in your hands and you just got to keep shooting just keep shooting and eventually you're going to make it in. Um, I guess that wasn't my final thing. I got on PrEP. Um, a lot of you may be wondering what PrEP medication is. Sorry, you just hold, heard my Jack go off. That's the Jack notification. Jack is a gay app. But I got on PrEP um, and basically PrEP medication is a way to prevent HIV from happening. Now, I'm all for not having sex. Like, I don't believe that you should be having sex until you're ready. I don't believe that kids should be having sex. I do believe that you should take all the precautions before you have sex, ask all the questions. But as a single gay man, I think it was something that I wanted to do and take my sexual health even more seriously. And that's why I decided to get on prep medication because you know um there's a lot of shit there's a lot of diseases out here and I ain't trying to catch anything um and I've never had a hang up when it comes to dating an HIV positive person or undetectable person I've dated HIV positive people before um and it's not a um deal breaker if a person is HIV positive but as someone that's HIV negative, I have to do my part to make sure that I am protected, not just with condoms, but as a gay man and, you know, straight people, too. You have to protect yourself with PrEP medication. So I took my first pill yesterday. Um, some people have side effects when taking the pill, but I felt fine. Um and I will continue to document that journey. Now, that, does, that doesn't mean that I'm going to be out here raw dogging and having um, uh, unprotected sex, it just means that I'm taking the precautions that I think I need to take um, on my journey through this life. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to talk about. Um, more content is coming your way. Um, and just, it's okay to not be okay right now, y'all. It's okay to want to just stay in bed. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be confused. It's okay to be angry. Just know that the ball is always in your hands and just to keep shooting your shot. I love you guys. Make sure that you're following everything. That's Joshua Gilliard and Queen of the Ratchet. Till next time. Mwah.